Hello everyone, I'm Nathan with RPS, and today I'm going to play for you a little bit of a game called Action Hank. That's Hank, not Hank. I'm not really sure why. I didn't even know that Hank or that Hank was a name before today, but uh, so it goes. So the basic setup of this game is that it's a kind of timing and running based platformer, somewhat in the vein of old school Sonic games, but it's also got a little bit like of a, of a time based element mixed in with it, so and leaderboards and things like that, so almost kind of trialsy in that respect. Trials being a stunt based motorcycle game for those who don't know about it. But the uh, the theme here is especially vibrant and noticeable. It's it's kind of a toy thing. Like you you play as a toy. Everything takes place at least so far in this bedroom setting where you've got things like posters on the walls and a guitar and actually kind of age inconsistent. To be perfectly honest, like sometimes it's it looks like it's a little kid's room. Other times it's like a teenager. Whatever. Anyway. Point being is that that theme is realized really nicely in a lot of the levels. It's used very creatively. Um, so let's dive in, and I will show you a bit of that. So yeah, you can select various characters. I haven't unlocked that many yet, but for now I've got Hank himself, who can be regular Hank, or, and I have unlocked this, Hank in a dress. It's a very nice dress. For now we're just going to go with normal Hank, though. And, uh, yeah, I guess I just really... I want to show off a bunch of my favorite levels. And this one, I think, uh, it's called Hot Feet, really exemplifies the game, at least among the easier levels it does. So let's go with that one first. And so yeah, you can go, you can choose between sort of the, the configuration you want to do your level in. Um, if you want to race against ghosts, you can, and they have specific timing based ones. So if you want to get an indicator of how you're doing in terms of unlocking whichever metal, you can. And the other nice thing about that is the, the ghosts that run the levels, depending on which metal they're doing, they do it the like, quote unquote correct way, or a correct way. So you can sort of mirror their movements and figure out what exactly they're doing to shave seconds off their times. Um, but if you want to, you can also do no opponent, or you can do friends. Unfortunately, at this stage, I don't have any friends. Not, not in real life, that would be very unfortunate. On 25, people usually have made at least a friend by then. I think that's actually required to uh, legally continue being allowed to live. But, yeah. Or you can just do no opponent. So... Whichever one you want. I'm gonna go with bronze so that you can't see how incompetent I am. So first thing about this game is the butt slide. You do a lot of running, but sliding is more advantageous for building speed. For instance, right here. And see I like how you go into the bed and there's like creepy things under it and stuff. It's all very Toy Story, but kind of distorted. And then you get this kind of like Tony Hawk half-pipe thing going on. And just a big jump. And done. Um, and yeah, levels are... Well, they're not always that short. They're fairly short. Like, they're meant to be run in 30, 40 seconds tops. But, uh... It kind of depends on what sort of level you're doing. I've unlocked some more now that are a little bit more puzzly as opposed to just running. So let's jump to something like that really fast. Okay, so this level, Tornado, is really cool. Like, it's just really fast and really... really fun. And it's like all sliding. And so timing's also really big in this game. Like you, it's very good to jump right on the ledge. Then you get a huge amount of air and speed. And if you don't, you die. Uh, 
Okay, so next we're gonna move into messing around with one of the game's items that I've unlocked so far, which is a hookshot. And that adds a lot of other really cool stuff and also makes it, again, like I was saying earlier, a bit more of a puzzle game versus a straightforward platformer type of setup. But this first level with it is still relatively straightforward. Let's pick bronze again, because I always aim for mediocrity. So just leap and swing. It's pretty simple. But a pretty big change in a game like this. Yeah! Barely beat bronze. That's how good I am at this. So, so good. For real though, it's a really it's a really fun skill-based sort of game. And it's one where you can keep chipping away at your times in a way where like you'll say, oh I'm just gonna try this level once, I didn't do so well, I think I'm gonna quit. But one more time. And then one more time becomes five and six more times. And then you isolate each and every little thing you do wrong on each level, and because they're so short, you can just keep trying to do the same part over and over and over. I almost wish there was a mode where you could just isolate a part and do it over and over, because there are a couple levels where I will have a sticking point. I'll have to get back to that sticking point before I can really try to nail it. In fact, I can show you one of those right now. So, there's also a sort of boss character you can race. At least of the levels I've unlocked, I'm sure there are more. This is still early access though, so I don't really know how far it goes. But, um, she's really tough. I still haven't even finished, well, I finished this one like a couple times. But it takes a whole lot of precision, and there's not really room for error. So if I mess up, I'm going to start over. And yeah, this should be tons of fun. So yeah, she's got her weights and all of that. See, like, catching on that corner right there probably just took me out of this race. And yeah, just like... See, that was abysmal. I usually do at least a little bit better than that, but requires tons of precision, and it's really only in a couple spots where it counts huge. Like right there, you've got to time the jump just right, or else you'll catch on the corner and lose a couple seconds. And then when you hit this, instead of sliding the whole way right here, you need to uh, do a quick run first. So it's tons of little things like that, and you notice them on repeated playthroughs, and you just do it over and over and over again. But the upside to it all... I'm just gonna pick a random level at this point. Well, actually, no, I'll show you a, uh, a very puzzly level that I still haven't quite figured out how to beat in any reasonable time yet. This is another hookshot-centric level, but it's not straightforward at all. So see, you're like flipping around this giant thing, and I don't think I'm supposed to be able to do that, but let's just write it anyway. So this part really gets me like you get it time it just right, and even if you do, sometimes you just end up in this horrible, doomed situation. Yeah. Come on. No. Well. Oh, there's something. That's what I should have done to begin with. Instead of swinging around like Donkey Kong mixed with an idiot. 
Okay. Yeah. See, that only took me a minute and five seconds. So close to that bronze metal, I can almost taste it. I don't know why I'd be tasting it. But yeah, even even with the hookshot stuff and me not being particularly great at it yet, um, one of the things that I'm really liking about this game is that in focusing so much on just the basics, it does a very good job of exemplifying them. Everything feels really good. And I mean, it's, it's a 2.5D game, so that's kind of impressive, because a lot of games like this end up suffering from weirdly floaty controls, even when they're trying to match the precision of more old-school 2D platformers. But this one, I, I like the way that it feels. It's definitely... It's definitely a fun game. Let's see... Not sure why I don't have a medal on this one. I guess we'll find out. I mean, a lot of it is... And, you know... It's gonna sound silly when I say this, but a lot of what makes it so good, I died, is the butt side. Especially when you've got a controller. Like, the second that you hit the ground, you just mash down on the trigger. And it feels really great. If you take one thing away from this video, let it be that. Butt sliding feels real good. Silver metal that one. Good for me. So anyway, that is kind of a brief overview of what Action Hank is all about. It's still in early access, so obviously there's going to be a lot more to it as time goes on. Honestly, couldn't tell you what. I'm looking forward to finding out. Oh, hey, see, we've got inventive level names like WIP20, WIP9. The ultimate test. That's enticing. Seeing as I can't even pass the first easy difficulty test, I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm not ready for that one. But yeah, so not a whole lot of meat on its bones yet, despite the fact that. Hank does have a lot of meat on his bones. Um, although even despite that, still a lot of cool little details. Like I actually really enjoy just looking around this room because they've crammed it full of stuff and little jokes. Like uh, when it gets around to this point on this wall, I believe. I think it's this one. Never mind, I was wrong. Um. Oh yeah, see, there's a little, like, Call of Duty-style poster for Action Hank and stuff. And I totally had a carpet just like that when I was a kid. Yeah, beyond that, I mean, you just got your leaderboards and stuff. So, very early, but also pretty fun to play. I recommend that you check it out if you get the chance. For now, though, this is me... Signing off. Thanks, everyone.